Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is a quick look of the new build 22567, and also confirming that, yes, there is a crashing bug when you right-click on the taskbar with this build. I have it, and a lot of people have been reporting it, so if you go and right-click on the task, the Start button, for example, to get the right the menu, you get a little flash and you get the reinitialization of uh, the file explorer that uh, kind of restarts basically. So uh, this is a problem that a lot of people have been reporting. So if you see it, yep, it's there. There's a few things in there, a lot of them that have not been rolling out to me, but um, it, you know, Microsoft does is A-B testing thing where some of you see a feature and not everybody does. Uh, what's in here that is uh, of interest? So first of all, if you live in a country where there's a possibility of having some data about the power utilization, um, and there's, of course, um, two partners, Electricity Map and uh, Watt Time, which actually give data on specific areas of electricity usage. Um, Microsoft is rolling out a feature for Windows Update. So when you go to the settings and you go to Windows Update, uh, you'll notice that it says Windows Update is committed to helping reduce carbon emissions. There's going to be, for some of you that have that data available, a flyout. And in future updates, you'll have the possibility of actually having Windows updates install when, for example, the power is the least expensive, things like that, so that you save money at the same time. So, um, you know, all sorts of little uh, features like that for uh, the uh, carbon em reducing carbon emissions and all sorts of things. So kind of interesting. Um, I don't know where exactly this can work, but uh, apparently some of you will have that data available. Some of you will have a flyout in accounts. If you go to accounts and go to your Microsoft account, uh, right now my info is going out. So if I click subscriptions, you see there's a little square with an out arrow. It means that, well, we're going to a website. So right now, I am an old way of doing things on all of this, but you might have actually all the info about your subscriptions within the settings app itself in the accounts. And you'll see uh, your payment details, all the information you see here, order history, account and billing help, the payment options, your subscriptions, all of that will be embedded within the setting apps. You won't have to go to the Microsoft website to know if this is, you know, what you're using, what credit card you're using, the accounts you're actually subscribed to, and so on. Um, if you have the out-of-the-box experience, so if you decided to reinstall, for example, you have a new phone linking capability for uh, Android phones, so that will actually show you at one phase within the install a QR code you scan it and it's going to match your phone and your install of Windows uh, in there. New feature in the uh, security. Uh, if you go into your security, Windows security app, in the app and browser control now, there will be something called smart app control. And smart app control it does not work until you reinstall completely Windows. So it's not available if you don't reinstall your build of Windows. Uh, that's what you see here, but you see a grayed out little experience here. And this is a new security feature that blocks untrusted or potentially dangerous applications uh, of you know installing or doing anything. It is of course recognized through an app list of known bad apps, for example. So this only works if you have the new um, you have reinstalled Scratch, the uh, latest build. Uh, one thing that also is new, I don't have it either, but if you go and right-click files to change, for example, the uh, what, what you want to open a certain file, 
So say for example, I go to um, I go to one of my folders. I go to pictures, for example. I go pictures here, and in pictures, I will go to um, let's say I'll take something like um, da -da 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 -da, something like CIDX. Here we go. That should be okay here. Uh, CIDX here. There. Oh, it's cloud. Okay. They're all cloud anyways. So I'll just choose one here, CIDX. And in here you have different pictures and different things that are showing up. I would like to change the open width. So what what do I want to use to open a certain picture? So I will right click on it and say open width. Now, when you do this and choose an app, I still have, in my case, the old version of this page, but some of you might have a new Fluent flyout that is transparent and uses Fluent design for the apps. So this means some of you will have the option to see the old way of doing things uh, in a new flyout, basically. So this is brand new. Once again, not all of us have it. I don't. Um, there's a little animation now. So when you go to your start menu and you want to put files together, um, apps together, sorry, in folders, there's a new kind of little animation that will happen to let you know that you've been, you know, kind of putting things together for some of you. Multi gestures, if you have multiple gestures possible on your trackpad, you have new animations that are going to happen. Um, one of the things also, if you were waiting for the task manager to appear, the new task manager, it is now available for everybody. So you now have the new task manager available, as you see with the options on the left side and so on, uh, with all the uh, new settings available and the options available for the uh, task manager, including those, uh, uh, you know, echo mode where you can have apps save energy and all sorts of things with new little icons showing up. Uh, we talked about it and I showed that, uh, that in a video last week. So uh, lots of fixes, of course, with problems that are appearing. And of course, there will be more as, like I said, there is a crashing when you right click. I do have it and I've had uh, about a dozen comments of other people saying, yep, you right click it actually crashes also here. So this was a quick look at build 22.5.6.7 and uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, what's coming up. Actually, I'm going to talk about my feel of how Windows 11 is progressing right now and why I think um, I, it's kind of exciting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.